Hello everybody. In today's video we are going to be discussing about optimum path delay and we are going to use a full adder to calculate the path delay of a circuit. So we're using the full adder as an example and as you can see the full adder have nine different NAND gates. Uh, I think that this should be in around here, my bad, my mistake, but simply put, it has nine, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, nine NAND gates, and the objective is to calculate this. Now, the equation for the optimum path delay is the gate multiplied by the branch multiplied by the uh, your output over your input. Well, this is not your delay entirely yet, but what it is, is that it's the effort delay, and we can use that later to find what our path delay is going to be. And to do that, What we do is we take the effort delay, which is this, so that's F. What we do is do we take F and then we uh, put it to the power of uh, 1 over your stage, or also known as N, so how many stages there are. And then what you do is that you add simply the number of inputs for each stage, and that would be what your uh, delay is going to be. So it seems pretty complicated. We have to first compute this, the uh, gate, the branches, and then your output over your input to get your effort delay, and then you do this kind of computation again to finally get what your delay is. Now, the question is, given the full adder now, given that the gate of a NAND gate is equal to 4 over 3, the output capacitance to be 100 the input capacitance to be 1, calculate the optimum path delay given this uh, schematic. And I've said before, this should be moved to this uh, stage. So why not? And uh, why not get to it? So first, what we're going to do is we're going to calculate what our effort delay is going to be. So here is our uh, full adder again. As we can see, I've in included the output capacitance and the input capacitance, and now we're going to compute the effort delay. So I'm just going to move this up a little bit, and then I'll provide some extra space to calculate our effort delay. So let's start off with our uh, capital G. So capital G is uh, the uh, gate uh, for the NAND gate which is 4 over 3. And what we have to do is we have to multiply this gate uh, by how many times, by how many stages there are. So well, what I've calculated so far is that there is, uh, this is the first stage, and then this is the second stage. This is the third stage. This is the fourth stage. And this is the fifth stage. Uh, this should be aligned. Vertically, so each stage is basically um, the verticality of each NAND gate, and then we have F right here. So we have A, B, C, D, E, F, and we basically count how many letters there are. So it turns out there that there are six. So what we do is we multiply multiply four over three six times. So what we get is. five point six one so that's what our capital G is now we have to calculate uh, our branches so our branches basically refers to how many NAND gates there are or how many uh, transistors there are simply in each uh, stage so the first stage we only have one NAND gate 
and then our second stage have uh, two our first stage our third stage have one our fourth stage also have one our fifth stage have three and our last stage has one and simply put we take these six numbers and we multiply them together and what we get is six and then for capital H, that's pretty simple. We take the output capacitance divided by the input capacitance. So what we get is 100C divided by 1C, and what we get is 100. And now we can get our effort delay. We take these three numbers that we got, GBH, and then we uh, put it to the power of uh, how many stages there are, which is six again. And what we get is, Three point eight seven. So there, that is our effort delay, and now we can take that effort delay. So I'm just going to write out the equation for again for it again to for our delay equation, which is uh, f to the power of one over n plus the number of inputs. So my bad, so the number of inputs basically refers to how many inputs the NAND gate have for each stage. So what we have is uh, for our first stage, we have two. Our second stage also have two, as we can see for our NAND gates, and the rest, everything else. So we have two plus two plus two plus two plus two plus two, plus two and what we get is uh, two sixes added together, plus our f to the power of one over n, bad this should be a uh, 2 and what we get is 13.25 so that is what our delay is and that is it I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the near future